Uh, did we do this question, th this paper, this question? Uh, sir, yes, we did this. We did this past paper, sir. Yes. And what about this one? No, sir, we didn't do this. Okay. okay. Let's start this one. Sports physiologists study ways in which athletes can improve their performance by recording factors such as oxygen uptake and the concentration of lactic acid in the blood. They can also monitor how these two factors change during training. Figure 2.1 shows an athlete running on a treadmill in a physiology laboratory while aspects of breathing are measured. You can see that you see he has a mask attached with it. Now with that mask they are detecting that how much air he is inhaling and how much air he is exhaling. Then there is there are you see uh, some like you see probes they are attached with his body as well which are coming on screen at the athlete ran on a treadmill at a slow speed for 11 minutes his oxygen uptake was measured before during and after the exercise the results are shown in, fig in figure 2.2 the arrows indicate the start and the end of the period of the exercise. This question is incomplete. They have deleted parts. Leave that question. Let's do this one. Researchers de designed an investigation <clears throat> to find the effect of increasing levels of exercise on two groups of people. First group of people were trained cyclists and the second group were trained untrained cyclists. The researchers asked all people to cycle at four levels of efforts, 30%, 45%, 60% and 75% of their maximum cycle speed. They cycle for eight minutes at each level of effort the researchers predicted that the pulse rate of the cyclist would increase during exercise. Explain this prediction. Yes. Who will tell me why did they predict that during the exercise, the pulse rate of the cyclist will increase? Because more oxygen is needed for the cells to do work and release energy. Very good. So what is the answer? So uh, the oxygen is uh, taken faster in the blood and pulse rate does increases. Very good. So let me tell the, what you will write. You will write that as they, the cyclists are driving cycles. And for that purpose, they are using up muscles and performing extra work for that extra energy is required and extra energy comes from extra respiration. And extra respiration comes from, uh, you see, ex extra oxygen. So the heart will beat faster so that the oxygen can be, uh, you see, provided so the blood can be pumped to the all parts of the uh, muscles faster and more so that uh, you see this uh, res respiration rate can increase. All right, boys, understood? Yes. OK, next one. Figure 3.1 shows the average concentration of lactic acid in the blood of the trained cyclist and untrained cyclist in the 
investigation. Now, this broken line is representing the lactic acid in the untrained cyclist, while this clear line represents the this uh, lactic acid in the trained cyclist, and this is the level of effort: thirty percent, forty-five percent, sixty percent, seventy-five percent. On y-axis, they are representing average concentration of, you see this uh, lactic acid in arbitrary units, and on x-axis, they have time in minutes. My question is, describe the effect of increasing levels of effort on average lactic acid concentration in the blood of untrained cyclists. Now, why is I have told you many times whenever the question is describe. We have to use the data. Yes. Now, what you will tell that as the effort is, you see, at the level effort of 30 percent. From zero minute up till eight minutes, the lactic acid concentration increased from three arbitrary units to four arbitrary units, right? And when the lactic, when the, you see this effort was increased to 45%, the concentration of lactic acid increased from four to five arbitrary units. And at 60% level of effort, the concentration of lactic acid increased from five arbitrary units to six arbitrary units at 24th minute. And at 75 percent effort level of effort, the lactic acid concentration increased from six arbitrary units to eight arbitrary units at 32 minute. And after exercise from 32 minutes to 42, 40 minutes, the concentration of lactic acid increased from 8 to, to 9.5 arbitrary units. Now, this graph shows that the lactic acid concentration is gradually increasing as the effort is increasing for the cyclist. And even after exercise, the concentration of the lactic acid is increasing. That's all what you have to write, right? Yes. What it was? Next question. Lactic acid is produced in the muscles during anaerobic respiration. Define the term anaerobic respiration. Yes, boys. What is anaerobic respiration? Respiration without oxygen. Very good. It is the breakdown of food. In the absence of oxygen is called as anaerobic respiration. All right, boys. Yes, sir. Next one. Describe how the lactic acid produced in the muscle cells enters the blood. Yes, boys. From the muscles, how the lactic acid will go from the muscles to the blood? Through the walls of the capillaries. No, how it means that how it will enter into the capillaries. By which process? Diffusion. Yes, diffusion and active transport. All right. Yes. But basically by active transport. How you will mention by active tra transport? Next one. Name the component of blood that transports the lactic acid. Which part of the blood transports the lactic acid? Say plasma. 
very good answer is plasma right anything which will be transported in the blood that is transported by the blood plasma all right boy yes sir next question is <clears throat> why explain now he is this question is about explain right boys so whenever the question is explain then you have to exp then you have to use your knowledge to write about it question is explain why the lactic acid concentration in the blood in trained cyclists is different from the untrained cyclists 8 minutes after the exercise you should use data from figure 3.1 in your answer so guys what you will write that you see you will use the data for the, you see this unbroken line so what you will actually tell that in the trained cyclist in their body or in their muscles the lactic acid concentration is lower as compared to untrained cyclist in the beginning the lactic acid concentration is 3 arbitrary units and at 8 it becomes 2 arbitrary 2 3 uh, arbitrary units right and at you see 32 minutes at the end of the exercise at 75% effort it is just 5 arbitrary units and then after the exercise it increases and starts decreasing at the end after the exercise and after the 8th minute of the exercise because the muscle cells of the trained cyclist they are used to of they have become adapted to the you see this exercise and they have developed more you see this uh, uh you see they have developed more adaptation to get rid of the lactic acid faster more right, efficient right? way of getting rid of lactic acid yes right they are better adapted the muscle cells of the cyclist trained cyclists are adapted in a way to get rid of the lactic acid faster from the muscles to the blood and what happens that you see blood will bring the lactic acid to the liver and liver will process or break down the lactic acid faster and also convert the lactic acid back into the glucose as well remember we learned that three out of four molecules of lactic acid are converted back to glucose while one out of four molecules of lactic acid are broken down down into carbon dioxide and water all right understood define the term respiration Yes, boys. What is respiration? Say the breakdown of food molecules by using energy. Not by using energy. To release energy. All right. Breakdown of food molecules, or you can even write the breakdown of glucose. to release energy is called as respiration all right yes sir now this contraction and relaxation of muscles is not in your syllabus right so we are not discussing this the man has an intense workout on the rowing machine 
figure 4.3 shows is oxygen uptake before and during the exercise. Now at fifth minute, the exercise is starting as at 20th minute, the oxygen. Is, uh, the, sorry, this exercise is stopping. And and on the Y axis, they have oxygen consumption in per cubic decimeter per minute. And on the X axis, we have the time in minutes. Question number one is explain again. When the question is about explain, you have to use the data from the graph and you also have to use the knowledge as well to answer this question. So explain why there is a steep increase in the man's oxygen consumption at the start of the exercise. Now, listen boys, this is very, very interesting that as the man starts exercising, the muscles, they start working extra. So what happens at that time for extra activity of the muscles, extra energy is required. And for extra energy, the, the rate of respiration should increase. And for that purpose, what happens? that the more oxygen is consumed by the muscle cells. More oxygen is consumed by the muscle cells so that more amount of energy can be produced for its activity. And for that purpose, what you can mention that from fifth minute up till the ninth minute, the rate of oxygen consumption keeps on increasing from 0 0.25 per cubic decimeter per minute to 2.125 per cubic decimeter per minute. All right, so we have used both the data and our knowledge to answer this question for four marks. Understood everyone? The next question. It took 10 minutes after the man had stopped rowing for his oxygen consumption to decrease to its resting value. Figure on the figure 4.3 draw a line between 20 minutes and 35 minutes to show the change in oxygen consumption after the exercise has stopped. So what he is saying that it took 10 minutes after the man has stopped rowing for his oxygen consumption to decrease to its resting value. Right now. He is saying that draw the line to show that decrease. So why is how you will draw the line? Just pay attention over here. Let me draw it for you guys. So the excess has stopped over here. So what you will show. All right, this line should not come out of the graph. All right, like this. Understood everyone? What else can you hear me? Yes, boys, did you guys understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Next question. Explain why the man's oxygen consumption did not return to the resting value immediately after exercise. Now, boys, again, this question is of four marks, and this question is about 
oxygen debt. This question is about oxygen debt. Right, boys? So what you will tell that the man's oxygen consumption did not come to the normal level up till 10 minutes because during the exercise, the lactic acid was produced. That lactic acid is, you see, first of all, you see transferred from the blood so from the muscles to the blood then that lactic acid is brought to the liver and the extra oxygen which is taken after the exercise is used to change three out of four molecules of lactic acid back to glucose the energy from that oxygen and you see oxygen is also used to break down the lactic acid into carbon dioxide and water that advice yes sir okay boys this worksheet is finished so do you guys have any question we have just one minute left no sir no question no, sir. Inshallah, in the next class, we will do this disease and immunity one. All right, boys. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, boys. See you guys, inshallah, in next class. Have a nice weekend. Take care and Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz, sir. Allah Hafiz, sir. Allah Hafiz.